Am I really good enough to work for one of the leading consultancies of the world? What is interesting that many of the people that have been outperforming their complete competition, their classes, their peers, are still having these doubts. And I really do not understand why. And let me also explain this to you in a little bit more detail. The consulting companies have found ways to identify the people they want to hire and they have perfectionized these and that's the reason why you're seeing a different process used in these top consultancies as you would find it anywhere else, right? So yes, it is a special process. However, the vetting of the profiles is highly standardized and is also calibrated and will result in a way that they can clearly tell who's the top performing 10%, right? maybe even 20%, and who is not. And if they have agreed upon that you are perceived as being of these like top or 10, 10 or 20%, you can also believe them because they know what they are doing. Okay? So if you have been invited to an interview, you are considered as being good enough in theory. There is no doubt about it. And there shouldn't be any doubt about it. Because if there is still a doubt about it, what's going to happen is that you most likely will not end up with an offer. And why, why would any of these consultants believe in you if you don't even do it by yourself? And there are now different um, outcomes or consequences of that thought right one is it's fine i uh, can be reassuring here and you will take it and um, it's also fine then for you and second is you will need to feel more secure in these interviews because you have been told by someone who knows exactly what he or she is doing that what you are doing and how you are performing is definitely meeting the bar in theory And if you need this reassurement, this reassurance, if you need this reassurance, then build a systematic way to get it, right? Because sometimes I feel when, when a mentee has gone through our program, the, the last 30% is then really a mindset question. The first 70% are hard work, systematic hard work, hard facts. And if you are still then in doubt, The last 30% is mindset work. And we have done a lot of mindset work too. So make absolutely sure you can believe in yourself and do what it takes that this is the case.